the sun. The sun is like, it was much more prominent before. The sun is like, yeah. Ah, uh, the inner child. I want to talk about the inner child in this video. Um, that was actually a moment. <laughs> What I was just doing right there, um, communicating with the sun, that was a moment where I kind of like thought about it, and I was like, do I want to show that in this video? And part of me was like, just do it. Another part of me was like, mm, I don't know. The inner child, something that I'm learning needs to be catered to, needs to be attended to, needs to be understood in terms of healing, in terms of integration. Um, from what I've learned, from what I've experienced, society does not understand how this all works. And it's honestly very challenging to watch that. For many of us, the um in in uh in childhood we didn't get what we needed and as a result of not getting what we needed life kind of looks weird now right um if we didn't get to express ourselves as we needed to if we didn't get our emotional needs met as we needed to Life looks weird now. It looks weird later on. And it's interesting, too, because I have myself um, fallen prey <laughs> to the trap of, you know, this is what you need to do to be a man. How to be a man. You're not man enough. It's just noise, in my opinion. Um, I would argue that one of the most important things that I've learned along my journey of healing is to be more congruent with what does Chris want? What does Chris need? What does Chris think this or that should be? Um... Now, I have nothing against actual maturity, you know, uh, physical, emotional maturity. I have nothing against that. Obviously, it's, um, it's just, I mean, I would argue inevitable, right? For some people, it doesn't really end up happening as a result of developmental obstacles and stuff. Um, but, you know, I've explored kind of like... I've explored what do I need to do to be more of a man, right? And I've also gotten steered in the direction of what do I need to do to be more of Chris? And the reason why what do I need to do to be what do I need to do to be more of Chris is more important is because Chris while it is just my name that was given to me at birth um, it's more of me than anything else. This concept, this construct of be a man, or be more of a man, or be be more ta uh, be <laughs> be more be more masculine, right? It's actually a construct and an idea that's separate from me, and. Yeah, I see it everywhere. I see it absolutely everywhere. How to be more masculine, how to be more of a man. What what I what what you need to do to be more of a man. What you need to do to be more attractive as a man. Um these are all things that steer me away from myself. What I've learned is that the most important thing that I can do and it goes alongside with healing is integration. A lot of people are insecure, 
and they kind of like follow these ideas of this is what I need to do or this is what you need to do to be more of a man, to be more masculine. Um, based on what I've learned, the most important thing that a person can do is to look back at their childhood, look back at what it is that they abandoned, neglected, pushed out, um, repressed, and actually sit with those parts and integrate those parts. Um, Insecurity, a lack of confidence, low self-esteem, all of these things will mend and repair as these parts that were neglected and pushed out um, are actually integrated. I believe that a lot of people that are seeking to be more of a man or to be more masculine are actually doing more <laughs> of what was done in childhood when they were taught that these different parts of themselves were unacceptable and therefore they had to neglect them, they had to repress them, uh, they had to push them out. It's getting them further away from themselves authentically. And you can see it too when you look at people and you see them trying to be somebody. We don't need to try to be somebody. It's not a matter of needing to be anything. Just just being the self. It's authentic, right? So, not only that, but I also wanted to talk about how society is not interested in individual healing. As from what I've learned. It's not interested in individual healing, and people just think you're supposed to move on with life. Oh, just get over it. It's not that big of a deal. Couldn't have been that bad. Life is going to look it, it, life is going to look very weird until anybody sits with and integrates the parts from earlier on in life that they pushed out. You need to express yourself. You need to look at yourself. You need to explore yourself. You need to understand yourself, right? And those moments in life when we step outside of being a fucking machine. We step outside of being a robot. We step outside of the anxiety and the depression that we learned through all of the bullshit conditioning that we learned. Those moments when we can actually look at the sun and smile or like look at a flower and just enjoy it because it's beautiful. We have been instilled with all these ideas that it's not okay to be ourselves because society is scared of it because society has a very hard time with all of this stuff healing, integrating, uh, inner child work, all of this stuff. And quite honestly, there's going to be very weird energy dynamics if it's just not respected for what it is. That's just the way that it is. Um, the inner child needs to be sat with. It needs to be pet like a like a dog or like a cat reassured that everything's okay reassured that the future is going to be just fine reassured that it's safe that's just the reality of it we need to express ourselves in that way we do um integration will happen once we do that all of these ideas that I was raised with of how I need to be as a person. Oh, you need to be more of a man, Chris. You're not masculine enough. You're not this. You're not that. Interestingly enough, all of these things that I've been told that I need to be more of, that I'm not enough of, projections. Yeah, that's other people's shit, not mine. And as a result of not being aware enough and not really knowing... Um, I mean, this goes into uh, Freudian uh, psychoanalytic theory, but looking at projections and displacements alone, uh, previously, I, I, I used to not be aware of that stuff. Now, being aware of that stuff, I'm like, oh, yeah, nope, that's just, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying my life here. I'm enjoying how I express myself. That's just your shit, not mine, okay? I'm going to keep moving here, right? Um, people that are not aware of themselves, people that are not aware of what messed them up, they're very likely to do things like project and displace. That's just the reality of it. But uh, getting back to the inner child and really like what it needs, it needs to express itself. It's going to show up. It's going to continue to show up. It's going to continue to um, 
<laughs> cause turbulence. I hope that it causes turbulence. I, I hope that the inner child causes turbulence because it's kind of like, hey, yeah, I didn't get what I needed. And your life's going to look weird until I do. So you can try all you want. You can drink your life away. You can get yourself mentally bigger as much as you want. You can try to become whatever the fuck it is that you think you need to become that everyone else is telling you, even though it's just projections. Or you can just realize that you need to sit with me. Sit with me and integrate. We got parts here. And that's really what it's all about. That's really what it's all about. There are so many things that I recognize that from childhood I pushed out um, that I'm now allowing to integrate even though that there's, like, shame and guilt around it and everything, it's all just noise. It's all just noise from people that project and displace. That's all that it is. Other people have, you know, unintegrated parts that they are uncomfortable with other people actually integrating for themselves because they're like, hey, where is it for me? Why can't I do it? Good news, you can. You can. <laughs> So that's what it's all about. I'm excited to be here. Sitting with the inner child, healing, integrating. Not trying to become anybody or anything. Just returning. Returning to myself. This is about returning. Not so much about becoming. Just returning. <laughs>